Hey everybody, I'm Tektos, and welcome back to Let's Play Galsif 3. Where we should make the galaxy a little bit more red, because red is just a really nice color. Also, that's a real opportunity here. They have no defending fleets that I could see. And we have a lot of invasion fleets, thanks to our nice malevolent... Well... You know what I mean, Malevolent Bonus, the ideology one that gave us five fully loaded transport ships. Pretty sick. Uh, not sure which way I want to go next. The Advanced Transport Module I don't think is necessary, though this here is just amazing. Like, all planets receive a fully armed Overlord class ship. That sounds... that sounds good. Um, but we also want to go down the greed route, if we can. And a couple extra pragmatic points won't hurt me either. But I guess uh, everything in due time. Alright, so uh, let us try and backstab these Terrans. And let me try to be more in this zoomed in perspective, because it just looks so much better. Alright, uh, last time I said we are gonna scout around and that's exactly what I'm gonna do just be a little careful because I can't afford losing ships at this point well I can afford losing ships but not not the crucial ones um, this being my sable my scout because uh, once I don't know what's going on anymore I'm uh, very vulnerable to uh, surprise attacks and the other one being my nice little flying kraken thingy the Aragus these two need to survive this. And you guys could come around. Can I... I uh, kind of want to go for Earth directly. Let's try. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> like that. Alright, so I need to find a compromise. We, we did scout here and there's no immediate threat there. And I think the rest of the intruders, we're just gonna park over here. There's another one, yes. You guys just go into Miller Starbase, um, wait it out for a second. Oh yes, that was that was very smart. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ideally, they're not able to attack me, but... <sighs> anyway, if they go for this transport, that is actually not too bad. I mean, it's bad, because we're gonna lose two trans two transportation, yeah, two population, but we do have our dragon fleet here that could then close in and the victory against this guy here is pretty likely, so that is the upside to this situation. Another missile boat. Why are you down there, I wonder? Oh, while you're at it, I guess we could... No, we don't. We, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. We should just go back home. Why? Oh, because you're also... No, you're not. Why are you there? Oh man, I need to get a grip, is what I need to do. Now what will you do? Damn. Don't like that. Right, um... Let's give this here a little more scouting. Um, looks pretty safe so far, but let's, uh, let's not get lulled in a false sense of security. And just bring out the scout a little bit. You are just a starbase, right? So we can fly past. You are a shipyard, you are a starbase. Still no defenders. Uh huh. Next turn, you're gonna have lost Earth. Which is pretty. <laughs> pretty damn significant, if I might say so myself. Because um, that is like the best system they have. These guys here, they're not bad. Yeah, they're kind of kind of alright. But um this guy here is interesting. The jewel of the universe. Well, we're gonna get that in a second. I need to sc uh, can't take this on though. Cannot yet take this on. I can try and intercept it, but don't see myself 
get in there anytime soon. So what if we park you in here? We've been regenerating for a turn. What if we park you here? Could we... Quick build manage... Let's just see. So it's four turn last time, so maybe we can get better results. Yeah, they don't have any fleets. Why did you declare war if you have nothing to fight me with? That is really dumb. That is really dumb. Hey! And now the wormhole riding begins, because uh, that's just what construction... Uh, not construction, what these, um... What we call these survey ships do, if they get bored, they just keep jumping through wormholes, I don't know. Because uh, it's basically the only anomaly they can research, so... Is this serious? No defending fleet. Yeah, it's pretty serious. Alright. Hey, Earth. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'll, uh, I'll take that. Definitely take that. Even if it's just for a couple turns. Um, yeah, let's generate some income here. And let's actually, let's see. Earth does have... Oh, they're unhappy, but they're gonna get happy if we invade more planets. They'll, they'll see. I'll see the wisdom. Plus three approval. Uh, yeah, well, let's first get out our... Eject these two. And load them full. Where's the next planet we could steal? You have class 9. Class 11. Class... Oh, there's just Thulium. What the hell's this? Oh, never mind. Bizarre. Mars is, uh, as we know from our own Terran campaign, not so great. Mm. I think we're gonna go for Pern. I think that's what we do. I don't know if any moves left. Alright, let's check out our... Uh, well, that's seven a turn, so it helped a little bit. Not too much, though. What can we do here anyway? If we go here, isn't there a way to let's collapse you guys? Balanced specialty favored. <sighs> hmm. I was hoping there would be a way to repair ships. Maybe there is, and I'm just too stupid to see it. That is entirely in the realm of possibility. Uh, I don't quite... don't quite see it though. Manage... Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, uh, well, let's finish our research. Casino economics, that is really... necessary at this time. Um, could build better farms, but I think we keep this stuff for later down the road. The road? Well, the road. Jesus, I need to take some pronunciation lessons, apparently. Um, the slavery is important, not quite yet, though. Uh, research, we're gonna steal off the Terrans, so that's fine. We do need to desperately advance our strength, though. This here is the Age of Ascension, right? No, this here is the Age of Ascension. Could already co go to here. Um, how long did that take? Shield cost, shield strength, shield system mass. Yeah, I think that is actually what we need to do. Is there anything we really need? No slavery, we went there. Engineering, I mean, we really need the, uh, the medium hull size. Survey, not really. We're just gonna keep our... Like, we'll have one strike force and it's gonna be accompanied by our excellent scout, so... This here is kind of helpful, though. And the iron drives are the next one that I need. Could even go for it now. Ah. I'll go for the shield. 
Because I think these are... Do we have any Iridium Corporation ships in range? Mm, none that I could see. Um, but I think... I remember them using lasers mostly. Ah, now we got a couple of planets. Nice. And Earth is idle. Well, that's not good. So, what do we have left to optimize here? Um, let's see. <clears throat> Assuming we win the war, which I have to assume, this is going to be the backyard of our empire. Which means this should be generating wealth, not production. We need our production at the front lines um, toward the Iridium Corporation. So I think we can safely turn Earth into a money house. Um, we might even make it our financial capital because it just has a good layout. Plus three to manufacturing. And we're going to keep that one. But uh, we're definitely going to go for more. So let's see. If we go... If you put the capital here, build... Yeah, 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 I like that. You put a farm here and here. I oh, know, we put a farm here and here. We put the hospital in the middle, so it gives adjacency bonus to both those two and gets one from here. And then we make this here all into financial stuff, and we get a little bit of approval and stuff over here. I like that. So we start destroying you, and put a market center here. Actually, we could destroy you in the market center there as well. And, uh... Why did I put one here? I didn't mean that. Cancel. Here. Market center. Here. Thank you. Uh, but we need to take a couple of these, uh, like, we need to take these planets sometime soon. Otherwise, Earth is gonna rebel. And, uh, then I'm gonna be very sad. Boop. Okay, now if the Iridium Corporation declares on us, that is, will be pretty bad. What's my movement point here? We still got... Four moves. Now, I'm gonna go over there, though. Let's see, what is over there? Probe, probe. No, it's looking good so far. No problemos. Um, class 13 and class 12. Oh, I'll take that. I will definitely take that. <coughs> uh, let's just see. Ah, so they're building con what constructors here? No defending fleet again. Why did you declare war? I don't get it. I mean, we we have a we have a clock on our war. We need to uh, win it in due time. But still, why on earth would you declare war if you're not able to fight? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, you're at uh, 109. Maybe it'll pick up. Maybe we'll repair more. Let's see. Yeah, they're trying to catch me, but that is completely idiotic. Oh. Um, when the member has chosen to host the United Plans headquarters for the duration, 50% bonus to influence for the selected race. Well, how about the Drangin? <laughs> The Yor vote for me. The Terrans vote for me. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Disturbing reports have reports have begun coming in that pirates have settled a low-class colony. They do not seem to be able to make much use of this world, but nonetheless, we find it disturbing. We do indeed. Um, if they wish to build legit well, the Neverland, we can just erase that. The pirate threat must not be allowed to grow. If we can certainly make good use of their newly terraformed worlds, despite its quality. Excellent! We can use this pathetic colony as training exercise for our fleets. And no one will miss a bunch of pirates. Yeah, that sounds good. What is that actually? Is that here now? Is that the pirate thing? 
That looks like a really useless your <laughs> your star base, but whatever. Um, we have a star base here. Where, where's that pirate planet now? What the hell is this? Oh god, I thought it's the Iridium. Space Pirates, next to me. Okay, we're gonna have to go there anyway to steal the last planet of the Italia, so uh, it's... Or what are they called? Thalen. Thalen. Jeez. So, uh, yeah, sh shouldn't be a problem. Should not be a problem. Alright, so you're trying to catch me, and I'm trying to catch you. Pretty much what that is. Um, let's see, our repair is going. 109, 116. Yeah, that's a little faster. That is a little faster. Uh, 8, 8. Uh, 5 a turn, man. That's expensive. Very expensive. Um, you can go there, you can go, I don't know, just wait here, I guess. Just go here and there, like so. More idle ships. We should be able to go here. Almost. I know it's really risky business what I'm doing, but it's also really profitable. So, pass you. And we got one more malevolent point. What do you know? I think we need to uh, start working, well, every 10 turns. Um, man, all these are so good. No, except for that. Hmm. This here is pretty good. I have to start going down the uh, the greed route eventually. But I also want the uh, the Overlord class. Though this is gonna be. Yeah, I think we have to go down this route. Eventually, though, we want the. Unlocks the Intimidation Center Improvement, which produces the Melbourne Melodogy Point every 10 turns. I think we need to take that if we want to go down this route. But I think we take this one first, though, because we are so desperately in need of money. It's just what we need to do. Yeah, minus 19 only. Well, that is that. That went out great. That worked out perfect. Um, yeah, but we just need to do that. You're gonna chase that, you're gonna chase that. Uh -huh. Yep, things are good. What are you doing? I don't get what you're doing and why you're doing it. I really don't. But we get more influence and now we don't have the rebellion problem anymore. And these guys have 66 approval already. And look at the map. Suddenly, we're, uh, we're catching up with the Iridium Corporation there, which is a pretty, pretty decent uh, turn of events, I would say. I didn't think that would be even remotely possible. Hey, buddies. <laughs> Man, this is mean. I think we could even take on these guys. Oh, you have a... Oh, it's a scout. Well, let's check out you. Wow! That is a nice little system there. Uh, let's focus on wealth, please. Alright, approval influence. Um, fusion power plant makes factories more efficient and boosts production. Jeez. We don't have that. Antimatter power plant. Man, these guys have a lot of... Plus three. 
This here is wasted though, completely. Um, Alright, so we do have... Do we have any bonuses for research? Civilization plus 10%, base research plus 4, no manufacturing. Rantium, fusion power plant, base, ruins plus 10%. And here, nothing much. All right, so we turn Earth into financial capital. So let's just establish that right away. Earth, you're going to be uh, renamed. Uh, what's my naming convention there again? Um, yeah, that's the one. You're going to be renamed into... W for wealth. I'm just gonna keep you named Earth. Wealth. Okay. Um, Kane one needs to become wealth as well. Really? Hmm. Maybe I need to rethink that. Wealthy population, though. They're pretty good for being a wealth planet. They're in a bad position, but... Wealth. Alright. And wealth will also help us out with the... Uh, with the... Mercenaries. Oh, that's Pern. Cool now. Well... It doesn't really matter what we do with you, right? can just be yeah you can just keep sucking I don't it, it doesn't like doesn't really matter much um, just don't cost me money that's pretty much all I can ask of these guys and uh, maybe get a little bit extra influence but why do we need influence at the center of our yeah, we're just gonna keep it research, that's fine. Um, we need some production capability up here, though, but... Uh, yeah, we have you for that, don't we? Don't we have you for that? Garrison... I need more tiles, is what we need. Guess we cancel that. Lost two to research on the spot. Yeah, I guess we cancel it. Put another destroy you. Put another work camp there. And eventually, maybe we can put a Durantium refinery in here when we can get this tile. You're not the best for my production, though. We'll see. All right, um, Miller, you're definitely going to be research. Yep. Yeah, that was stupid, stupid move, stupid, stupid move. We need to uh, build up these. Yep, that was a really stupid move. I should have just left that on research. <sighs> well, can't be helped now. Well, I guess this is fine, though. If we put one more... Yeah, this, this is actually fine. Um, just doesn't really deserve the science in its name, but... This is actually just fine. I did think a little bit when I did that. So just a question now what I will do with you. Yeah, I haven't thought about it. We're definitely going to build the two shopping centers there, just because I don't want that planet to cost me money. But from there, we'll, we'll see. Okay, so uh, we managed that. Jeez. You... where's the... Oh, what are you doing? I don't get it. Anybody else gets it? I don't. I really 
don't. Uh, I don't care much, though. If they want to make mistakes, that is just fine by me. Let's see if we can find more enemy ships, but it doesn't really look like they have more. Doesn't really look like it. This seems to be their fleet. That one mercenary, man, it's pretty much the same for me. Like, I had that one mercenary, except I started devoting my production to uh, these missile boats, but uh, let's take one back. But, um, it's rather a sad situation. If you're a Terran, of course. It's a pretty good situation if you're a Drangin. So, uh, we came to, let's, let's total up there, we have uh, one, two, three, wealth systems. I guess we could make you wealth and science combined, right? We keep the power plant. This could actually be really awesome. I mean, I would love to be able to keep that. It's just pretty good. And uh, all the Durantium refinery it takes a lot of time to build, but honestly, it doesn't doesn't matter too much. Alright, so if we build science around you, maybe build a Thulium Archive here. Yeah, that could be good. So all this will become science. And then we build a hospital here and two farms there. Oh no, we need the farm here, because uh, plus three. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Alright, so science all around here. We build a hospital there, a farm there. That could work out quite well. We don't actually need anything for approval. So we could just keep the two factories here going for quite a while. Well, yeah, so let's start here. Um, start with the research chamber. And uh, you're gonna be science planet because we can't keep up like if we wanna let's let's check that out we wanna keep up with the iridium corporation we do need tech there's no doubt about that and they are pretty far ahead once they start building ships we have a problem I mean we're still gonna be able to fight them but we can't be in the stone ages and then fight them we're uh, we're gonna probably outproduce them and we probably have the better ships and make the better tactical decisions but still, we need some resemblance of a modern fleet, otherwise we're just gonna get crushed. So I think it's wise investing in uh, science output at this very moment. Um, so you, sir. Uh, no, no, no XP. What the hell am I doing? No. Science. There we go. Goody. Uh, we're also at the end of the time. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I certainly enjoyed it a lot because we are suddenly a real presence on the map. We're uh, catching up to the Iridium Corporation quite rapidly. The Terrans fall back just as rapidly. It's like we're stealing their points, basically. And uh, that, is, that is good. Always very good. Uh, we need to kill their stuff there, but we also need to deal with this situation down here. But then it's just gonna be the Iridiums, the Yor, and me. And I think I can let the Yor just grow in my backyard. Same ideology, at war with the opposing ideology, and that's pretty much... They're gonna leave me at peace. They might go and gobble up what's left of Altarians. Might go ahead and do that, but I don't really care. They can, they can have this side of the galaxy, barren as it is. And I'll take this one, built up by the Iridium Corporation, and then we'll see if we butt heads who comes out ahead. Huh. All poetic. Anyways, you guys have a great day and uh, see you around for the next episode.